this lesson three of Quantopian Pipeline, uh, we're going to look at factors. Uh, in the first video, we mentioned that factors really gives you a numerical value. So here, there's the definition again. A factor is a function from an asset and a moment in time to a number. So you actually generate a numerical value here. So I'm going to click Get Notebook and let it run in the background and uh, rather than you having to wait. So in this case, what we are going to do is that um, we're going to make use of the built-in factors. Uh, Quantopian has quite a few built-in factors. You can actually uh, follow this link and um, see what are what other built-in factors um, that you can actually utilize rather than actually write your own custom factors. So the first thing that we're going to do is to make a factor that computes the average cl close price of each asset over a trailing 10-day uh, window. We can use the simple moving average built-in factor which computes the average value of the input data which is the close price that we're looking at over a specified window length 10 days. To do this, we need to import our built-in simple moving average factor and the US equity price data set. So let's come back over here. It looks like the pipeline tutorial has already been uh, loaded. So this is really the explanations that we looked at earlier. Uh, notice there's a slight change here in terms of the definitions. It's called float here. Uh, float is exactly the same as numerical value, just that float is the uh, term that is used in Python to represent numerical value uh, that is really a real number. Going back to the earlier tutorial that we did, uh, the previous tutorial in fact, uh, we need to import pipeline. Uh, we also need to need a line that import run pipeline. Um, and in this tutorial, there's some slight variation is that we want to import the U US equity pricing. What is in this US equity pricing is the open high low close and also volume that we want to uh, download for the computations because we are looking at the simple moving average here in this case. So notice that the where you actually find the US equity pricing is under the data uh, built in sitting under the Quantopian pipeline. And the factors itself, these are the built-in factors, uh, which is simple moving average. It sits under this library here. So if we run that, okay, so basically we move to one. So basically it's run successfully. So here, what we want to do is create a simple moving average. Um, let's walk through this and just explain, take it slowly a little bit. Creating a factor, let's go back to our make pipeline function from the previous lesson, what make pipeline? Let me come back here. Remember earlier in the tutorial two, over here shown here in our make pipeline, we don't actually have anything defined. We just define the function itself and then return the pipeline. That's it. We did not write anything uh, in between or specify anything at all. So in this case, we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to add uh, the simple moving average factor in here. To create a simple moving average factor, we can simply call the built-in function called simple moving average because this has been uh, written in prior. So we can call the simple moving average constructor with two arguments. Inputs, which must be a list of bound column objects. I'll come back to that in a minute. And window length, which must be an integer indicating how many days worth of data our moving average calculation should receive. Um, here it states that we'll, we'll discuss the bound column in a more in more depth later. For now, we just need to know that bound column is an object indicating what kind of data should be passing to our factor. Uh, in a simplistic um, explanation for this, if you think about market data, what usually comes with it is the open, high, low and close. Those from my perspective, this my interpretation could be completely wrong. Uh, is really market price such as open high low close is bounded to the market price whereas things such as income price earning ratio um, cash flow operating cash flow EBIT things like this usually is not bounded to the market data so that's really how I uh, perceive and that's how I interpret this uh, statement but we'll come back to the bound column in a future tutorial um, or later. 
The following line uh, creates a fun a factor uh, for computing the 10 day mean close price of securities. So here we have a variable called mean close uh, underscore 10. Uh, this is really a name that is defined by yourself. You can actually call it whatever you want. In this case, just to make it more explicit, it's called mean uh, close, which means uh, close price for the last 10 days. And the 10 here really means the last 10 days. So this built-in factor has the name called simple moving average. And the inputs really is where do we actually get the data for us to do the computation on. So we're going to use the US equity pricing uh, close price. Dot close is the price that uh, or the closing price is what we're going to use here. Window length, we specify 10 here. Basically, we're looking at calculating a simple moving average for 10 days. Um, and on the on the close price itself. So how do we add this factor to the pipeline? Again, I want to refer back to the make pipeline. And let me just come over here uh, so you can visually see. You see the make pipeline here is empty uh, in, in tutorial two. And this lesson three here is that we will add this one line that we just cover right here, copy it over, and um, and then we return pipeline remember return pipeline was blank before we just stopped there uh, and now we have uh, open uh, bracket um, and the columns we want to store 10 day moving sorry 10 day mean close as this is the so-called name that we give to the column itself and the actual data to be attached to it is the mean close 10 that we actually specify here. So let's see if I run this and run this as well. And when we run the pipeline, again, it's the same format. We want to store everything into results. Run pipeline is the functions that we want to call or class that we want to call. Um, remember, run pipeline is what we import earlier, which is this run pipeline here. And within here, what function to run is make pipeline, which refers to this. And what period do you want to run it on and from 2015 May 5th to 2015 May 5th so we're really only running one day for this so as we execute this using shift tab oh sorry shift enter as we execute this using shift enter uh, you will notice that again if I scroll down there are 8241 rows and the stop ticker is returned as well as the sit code and there is a column called 10 day mean close um, and which is uh, what we actually specify here this is the name that we um, coined for this column and all of these value here notice that factors being a float or a numerical value or real number as you can see here is that it is being bounded to or being returned and calculated and returned for you and now that we have a column in our pipeline output with a 10 day average close price for all 8,000 plus securities, note that each row corresponds to the results of our computation for a given security on a given date store. The data frame has a multi index, uh, multi index meaning we have one, two index here. If it's just equity here, that's called single index, but in this case we have two. If I scroll down a little bit, the index is the date and the uh, asset ticker itself. Uh, for example, the first row is the date and the second one is, the, is that will contain the result of our mean close 10 factors uh, for AA on May 5th, 2015. Right, so if we run our pipeline over more than one day, so here May 5th to May 7th, and if we run this, it should be that we have one column, which is the 10 day mean close uh, with the date May 5th. If I scroll down further, it's May 7th. Okay, so basically we have three days. Now May 6th is not shown here, it's actually in between here, it's truncated. It's too long to actually um, output in one go. So if it's 8,200 earlier, as we know, in, in one day, so you multiply by three. So really this is three days of data here. 
Right. Um, Factors can also be added to an existing pipeline uh, instance using the pipeline dot add method. Uh, using add looks something like this. My pipe is equal to pipeline. Uh, notice that we did this earlier, and now we just need to um, f1 extra some factors, and my pipe uh, dot add f1 uh, would be how you actually add this factor, which is f1 here. Now the sum factor here. Uh, don't be fooled by the form. The sum factor here is this make pipeline that we had earlier. Now, the most commonly used built-in factor is latest. Uh, latest factor really gets the most recent value for a given data column. If you are looking or querying the price data, that is the latest uh, data that you will actually receive from uh, the pipeline. This factor is common enough that it's instantiated differently from other factors. Um, the best way to get the latest value of a data column is by getting its dot latest attribute. As an example, let's update make pipeline from earlier to create a latest close price factor and add it to our pipeline. So here we have make pipeline, we have mean underscore close 10 which from earlier and latest close is close and the latest so this is the latest price here you have two columns one you call it 10 day um, 10 underscore day underscore mean underscore, underscore close another one you call it 10 a latest underscore close underscore price and this is the so-called um, variable that you defined and you attach this to this and make sure you actually put a comma to separate them and now when we run the pipeline again, uh, exactly the same thing, you will notice with here, this one is just ex give me the first five and values. You will have the 10 day mean close, which is this, and the latest cl close price, which refers to this. And you can see that the data has been returned as we have requested. All right, some factors have default inputs that should never be actually changed. Uh, such as the volume weighted average price, which is VWAP, it has built in factors. Now, the name says volume weighted, so naturally the volume must be one of them. The other one is price. So, those are the two things that you cannot change. So, it's always calculated based on US equity pr uh, pricing close and US equity pricing volume. Um, so, here you just need to specify the window length um, the rest of it you will not be able to modify at all such as the close price as well as the volume